Slime Speed Shop, who contacted us yesterday about his beam swapped SR5. Sway bar recommendations. Car is equipped with beam engine and Ford 8.8 rear. Okay. That's that's uh that's an interesting combo. Um, one thing that we tell people with, and actually this uh, ties into another question that got asked. If you have a beams, uh, we might recommend different spring rates uh, for that swap, and there's a couple of reasons. If uh, the beams is is going to be a bit heavier than the 4AG, and it's the weight's going to be farther forward, so that means you have more weight on the front of the car. Um, so to get the same kind of ride frequency that we are shooting for, uh, which is basically effectively how stiff the car is, uh, we'll usually step it up a little bit on the front spring rate. So someone that was previously using a 7K, we might start to recommend they use an 8K front spring. Now, at the same time, that Beams has a lot more power and a lot more torque than a 4AG ever will, unless it's you know boosted or something. Um, and and when you have a car that has so much uh, you know power, you want to try to get as much of that grip down as you can to get the most out of that engine. Because you know, let's be like, if you have a Beams with that much torque, if you floor it, you can just spin the wheels, which is fun, but you're not turning into forward momentum. So we like to set those cars up a little bit more understeery so that the driver can lay into the throttle and force the rear to rotate and kind of just almost power slide the car through the turns. Um, but we feel that's the the best way to get the most out of that engine package. So likewise, sway bars, we'd probably use a softer rear sway bar in the rear to maximize that grip. 